This is Joseph Foster at Lake Houston giving us some instruction on how to bait a hook while fishing. What are the fish we're reeling in today? Yellow bullhead. Yellow bullhead. Blue catfish. White bass. White bass. One's prettier than the next. White bass probably just pretty out of all of them. Beautiful scales. Just amazing fish. Well, first of all, you come over here. Find, and dig in. Get find a worm. Get a hook a little more than an inch possibly. And wrap the worm around about three times. What we do is we reel it in, cast it about five feet off the Fish on, fish on. Fish on. Oh, oh, I snagged him. Oh, it's oh. a nice big catfish. Oh, okay. Is it a catfish? It's a snag. Uh oh, what does that mean to be snagged? Well, we're trying to get him. There we go. Get that turn around. Oh! And he's jumping. He is feisty. Look at that go. Look at that fish go. Okay. Fighting every. Yeah. Nasty looking. Say it again. Blue. Nasty looking, lump, big, fat. And look at look at that pole. Just look at that pole bending at the weight. Oh my goodness, he's huge. It is a good what? Foot and a half. And look at here comes the father with the technique. Let's hope he's got this down. He's been taking instructions. Oh yay! It all paid off. He listened to those instructions by coach. He got it down the first time. The fish flip release. Awesome. Proud of you. Proud of you guys. Way cool. Now, awesome job. Action, action, action. I love it here at Lake Houston. I was originally going to make a 1,000 subscriber special, then I realized just how boring those kinds of videos are. It then hit me that you guys know next to nothing about me, so I figured I would share a little bit about myself. Let's go! Guys, let's go! He absolutely just crushed this. For as long as I can remember, I have deeply admired the mystery and majesty of the natural world. I remember being fascinated by nature even as a toddler. You could find me chasing lizards, catching frogs, or picking at dead earthworms on the sidewalk. When I moved to Charleston, South Carolina at age four, my passion for the outdoors grew exponentially. Our neighborhood had a pond which quickly became my happy place where I spent countless hours fishing and identifying the many wading birds, turtles, and snakes in this mini ecosystem. My life mission since then has been to promote the importance of protecting and enjoying the outdoors responsibly. A couple months before I turned 12, I was given the opportunity to work for Bear Island Eco Tours, a company that specializes in naturalist guided charter trips through the salt marsh around Isle of Palms, Deweese, and Capers Island. And with all this new knowledge, I became really excited and wanted to share with as many people as possible. And that's what inspired me to start a YouTube channel. Those first videos were brutal, but I quickly began to appreciate the filming aspect of videography just as much as the content itself, which led to a drastic improvement in the quality of my video production. Things were going smoothly for me, and I was really enjoying where I was in life. I will admit, I never really thought too hard about my future, so when senior year of high school rolled around and I decided to apply for colleges, I just kind of figured I would take the traditional route and I never really thought about myself. I convinced myself that my dreams of making a living off of outdoor videography and guiding were outlandish and unrealistic, and as a result, I became very depressed and my mental health collapsed. After hitting an all-time low, I left college and returned home feeling worthless and pathetic. So here I am, back home, reconnecting with my passion that has been burning from the beginning. This may seem like a leap of faith in the dark, but I've never been more excited or motivated. 
The society that we live in today encourages us to compare ourselves to one another and determine our success based on how we stack up against our peers. This aspect is so strong and prevalent that we tend to lose our innate roots which define us and make us the unique individuals that we are. I really do not know where I would be without fishing in my life. The friends and memories that I have made from it are irreplaceable and I wouldn't give them up for the world. Get it up here. There we go! Let's go! I'm endlessly thankful for each and every one of my supporters and I could not be more ready to start this new chapter with y'all. Tight lines, and as always, stay hooked.